How's it going? Chuck here with Quiet Cat eBikes. Today we're talking about assembling our 2023 Pioneer. So you can see this Pioneer, we've already taken it out of the box and removed all the packaging. Once you've got it clean of, of the packaging, you can go ahead and put it in a bike stand. If you don't have a bike stand, that's okay. Um, you can do this on the floor. But for today, we're putting in a stand. It's a little bit easier to see everything that you need to put together uh, to get ready to ride your Pioneer. All right, before we get started here, uh, we'll take a quick look in our accessory box uh, that comes with a Pioneer. This is going to have a quick start guide and it's going to have some tools uh, along with your pedals and your chargers that you're going to need to assemble the bike. We'll set that aside. All right, first thing we're going to do with the Pioneer is install the handlebars. Uh, to install the handlebars, we're going to come up here to the stem and we're going to take these four bolts off of the stem and spin those loose. I'm going to set three of those aside. So I pop that last bolt out. I'm going to hang on to that piece right there. I'm going to flip the handlebars into position. I'll make sure I've got the right brake on the right, left brake on the left. You can tell that keypad is always on the left. If I need to move this display out of the way, I can spin that display out of the way so I can access the stem. I'm going to put this piece right back on, line up the holes, and tighten that bolt back in there. Before I tighten these down, I want to go ahead and get all four bolts threaded back into the stem. Make sure everything lines up. Once I have all four of those bolts back in the stem, I can snug them down just a little bit. Then I want to take a minute and make sure I get the handlebars in the right spot. I can kind of center the handlebars and make sure that gap between the display and the stem is about the same on both sides. I'm going to make sure that that angle puts my brakes in the right spot so I can see the keypad when I'm seated on the bike. And then I'm just going to tighten these bolts down. Again, I'm going to snug all four of them up before I give a final tighten to them. I don't want to over tighten these bolts, but I can use that wrench that comes in the accessory box to make sure they're nice and tight on the bars. There we go. And that's our handlebar installed on the Pioneer. Next up, we want to install the front wheel on the fork. You can see that these Pioneers come with uh, a dropout saver. That's a bolt that's clamped right into the fork. You might be able to get these bolts off by hand or you might need your 15 millimeter wrench that comes in that accessories box. I'm just gonna make sure those nuts are loose. I can spin them loose on both sides and you can take that dropout saver out. You can set it aside, you won't need it again. With that dropout saver removed, we're ready to install the front wheel. Before I install the front wheel and the fork, I'm gonna take a minute and make sure that I take those axle nuts and loosen them, spin them all the way out to the end of that axle. I'm gonna do that on both sides of the wheel. Once I have those all the way out, I'm gonna put the wheel into the fork. Again, I've got that rotor on the brake side. I'm gonna line that rotor up with the caliper and the brake pads. Then I'm going to pull that wheel up into the dropouts. I can spin those two axle nuts tight with my fingers. Then I'll grab my 15 millimeter wrench and I'm gonna tighten down both sides of the wheel. Once I have both of those nuts tight, I'm gonna make sure that that wheel spins freely and that's my front wheel installed on the Pioneer. Next, we wanna install the pedals on the Pioneer. It's really important you pay attention to the pedals a little bit as you install them. They are left and right specific. There should be some stickers to help you make sure you've got the correct pedal on the correct side. Our right pedal is gonna be a right hand thread. Our left pedal on the other side is gonna be a left hand thread. Make sure you've got the right one. If you have a little bit of grease in your garage or around the house, it's a good idea to put just a little bit on each pedal. If you don't have it, no big deal, but if you do have some, it's a great way to keep these pedals from binding in the cranks. So as we install the right pedal, again, I'm gonna verify that I've got the right pedal in the right crank. This is a right hand thread, so I can start it here with my fingers. I'm gonna turn it to the right and get that pedal lined up. Once I've started to thread it on with my fingers, I can grab that 15 millimeter wrench out of that accessories box and I can spin that pedal tight. I'm gonna snug it down. I don't need to over tighten it, but I wanna make sure it's not gonna move. As I install the left pedal, again, I'll verify I've got that left hand crank, that left side pedal. Remember, this is a left hand thread. So as I put it on there, I will start it with the fingers, spinning it to the left to tighten it. Once I've got that started with, the, with my fingers, I can grab my 15 millimeter wrench out of the accessories box and I'll continue turning it to the left to tighten it. Again, I'm gonna make that pretty snug. I don't need to get it super tight. I just wanna make sure that it's secure and not gonna fall off. That's our pedals installed on our Pioneer. 
All right, we're ready to install the battery on our Pioneer. Uh, first, we're gonna to wanna to find the keys. Uh, they're usually zip tied to the handlebars. Let's go ahead and cut those off. Once you've got the keys, we're gonna take the key, put it in the lock core, and turn it all the way to the left. That's gonna unlock the battery tray so we can get our battery inside the bike. So our Pioneer takes our Pathfinder battery. We'll just take a look at that. It's gonna have four discharge ports right there, uh, along with a charging port. Uh, the other side is going to have that state of charge indicator. Should turn green if the battery is charged. When we install this in the bike, we want to make sure that those four discharge ports are down towards the bottom of the bike. We're going to line them up inside the frame. Once I have it in there, I'm going to click the battery into place. Once it's clicked into place, I can turn that key to the right, and that battery is now locked inside the bike. Sometimes with your new bikes, this lock core here will be a little bit sticky. So we wanna just maybe turn it once or twice and that key should come right out and lock the battery in place. While we're here, if you wanna remove the battery from your bike, we'll put the key into the lock core. We're gonna turn it to the left. If I pull on this battery release lever here, that's gonna release the battery from the bike and I can take the battery right out of the frame. Last up, we want to make sure to check the tire pressure in our Pioneer bike before we ride it. The Pioneers will ship sometimes with a little bit more pressure than others, so it's always a good idea to check them. We recommend putting them between 15 and 18 PSI. Perfect. So I'm just going to unscrew that little dust cap off the Schrader valve, check the pressure. I'm going to put it up to 15, dust cap back on. Same thing for the back of the bike on the rear wheel. Check the pressure up to 15 and the dust cap back on. That's our tires checked and ready to go. Next up, we'll power the bike on. All right, so we've got everything installed on the bike. We're gonna go ahead and power it on. We're gonna do a long hold on the middle button here on the keypad. That's gonna light our display up. Looks like we're good to go and we're ready for our test ride. Thanks for tuning in to our assembly video today. Hopefully everything went smoothly for you. If it didn't, that's okay. Uh, feel free to reach out to our customer support team. We're there to help you along the way. Remember, you've got the Quick Start Guide as a great resource, or you can find us on quietcat.com.